Well, good day, Rusters. Well, I can't really say welcome back to Rust, but welcome back to a Rust custom map build. Um, it's just going to be like a generic map, but um, let's see. No, that's not what I want to do. Okay, that's what I want to do. I just had to uh, find my Rust directory. This stuff you're looking at here is way more than what I know how, need, know how to do. But anyways, um, my friend Kid Kelly there, he's got a, his own Rust server going. And I am for next month going to build him a map right here. And if it all goes well, hopefully we'll be running that for next month. So what we want to do, and I've done a few here, tested them. I, I put up a little, well, I got a little test server from uh, Game... Uh, game server kings and uh, you're able to load it onto that just to give it some testing so we'll see maybe if we can test this after too it's a bit of a nuisance kind of because you can't really just upload the map you've just made right to the game server kings uh, your stuff on game server kings you actually have to do about a round roundabout way it's kind of dumb um, you have to upload your map to like dropbox uh, make it uh, Oh, Alcatraz, sweet. Make it a um, uh, public thing, uh, download thing, and then get a link to that, submit that into a certain spot in the uh, admin panel for uh, Game Server Kings, and then start your server. Hopefully it all works. But anyways, let's create new. And uh, he wanted a 4,000... Um, 4,000 map size, I think he was after. Let me just double check with him here. Okay, I'm not sure if he'll get right back to me, but we're going to do a 4,000. I think that's what he wanted, so you do that 4,000. Um, you can change a lot of stuff here, ground height. I'm just going to do um, a generic one uh, like this. So that'll create it. We'll start loading this up here, and then we got to kind of automatically manually kind of do everything so right now we just got like nothing right this is like an empty this is underneath the map basically so what you want to do here is go to tools procedural tools native and then generate terrain this will generate the base terrain here should anyways it takes a second or two it's got a that's a fairly big map ish so it's got to generate uh, all the the mountains and stuff and so there we go there's there's what she's gonna sort of look like lots of mountains it looks like get up a bit higher here a couple little islands Ooh, there's my island let's go look at my island and we'll look at this is a big map four thousand is big two thousand is not though it's weird you go from two thousand to four thousand it gets quite a bit bigger so yeah, that's a good little island here so now I haven't done a whole lot of experimenting, but I know there is like the terrain tool. Um, I can put like things like this in. I want to go up higher, you know, like that. There's a whole pile of different things you can do here. You can make the size bigger <laughs> if you wanted to. I could add, uh, oh, well, I don't know if I want her that big, but okay. No, let's uh, control Z that out of there. So you can add... No, why can't I move with this on here? You could add little islands and stuff. Let's maybe not go that big. Ooh, that's a bit crazy. I haven't done a whole pile with this really yet. Um... Raise lower, flat, and smooth. Bridge, you could do bridges. Must must set a starting point to create a bridge. Uh, let's see, okay. Uh, shift plus click to start point. Shift plus click. Okay, that's a start. So that's kind of kind of like a bridge. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, 
this part's all new to me. But anyways, I've done the basic, the basic stuff. You know, well, I'm gonna leave some some interesting stuff on there. Anyways, um, I know you can do um, a bunch of stuff with that terrain tool. Smudge, uh, smudge, yeah, yeah. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do with it. But anyways, so that's kind of cool. Doesn't look very interesting yet, and I don't know if it's going to change much when I do the rest of this stuff here. But uh, let's have a look at the rest of it and make sure we just we do like this one. There are so many seeds for maps, like it's pretty much endless. You know, it's it's just amazing how many different seeds there are. But yeah, this one doesn't look too bad. It's pretty rocky. It's pretty rocky. It's going to be hard to put a ring road in around there. But let's let's just keep going with it and see. I might have to adjust the height of it. Actually, I could probably do that. Uh, probably do that now. Uh, resize map scale smooth. I don't think I can do that now. So. We'll just leave her there. We'll we'll do one anyways here and just to see how it's gonna look. Now there was somewhere in here that I need to go into Yeah, this camera speed. Camera speed. Gotta turn all these. Oh no, I don't wanna do that. View distance, that's what I want. Oh, I didn't really want to change that, but okay. And the graphics, everything should be all right there. So I just basically wanted to change our fly speed so it's a little bit quicker. Yeah, this doesn't look like too bad of a map. Okay, so let's uh, go to one side here. We're going to add roads, monuments, rivers, um, all the the top topology stuff. So procedural tools again, native... Uh, generate biome. So all this stuff takes a little bit to do, but it's not terribly too bad. So there's some some of that. Tools, procedural tools, native. Oh. Native, uh, generate biome. Okay, so it's starting to come together here. Uh, procedural tools. Oh, come on. Native generate splat. I haven't figured out what splat is, but it... Uh, well, you'll see here in a sec. Kind of creates, I guess, all the, the cold areas, and then the, it's an awful lot of cold area. And there's some some warmer areas and mountains, and then uh, into uh, this stuff over here, the desert stuff. Okay, so tools, procedural tools, native topology. Some lot of neat things you can do. So now let's change it a little bit now, so it looks a little bit more like the map, right? It's a little bit uh, cleaner looking, we'll say. There's our spear over there. <laughs> okay, so tools, procedural tools, native ring road. Let's see. Let's see if we can generate a ring road on this map. It might be too hilly. I don't know. Well, it should do it, but it'll take a minute, though. Road meshes. Okay, did we get a ring road? Yeah, we got a ring road. She's in. She's in all through the, yeah, you can see her there. Real big curly turn there. Now you could change all those two. I cut that out and join that to there if I really wanted to, but uh, I will just leave her like that. Native ring row now harbors. This is some of the monuments and stuff here. This will do like the fishing villages and stuff. So let's see if one come in somewhere. 
Gotta generate the map, you press G, it'll generate the whole map like you'd see on the game kind of thing. So there's where we are. Okay, so yeah, there's a harbor there. And it looks like it only generated the one harbor, so let's... Let's zip over and see this harbor. We can move it to, if we wanted to, we can select the whole thing. So if you just select that, and then I could uh, pick it up, move it kind of wherever you wanted to, right? I'll leave it there. And, uh, okay, so let's do again and see if we get another harbor. I want some more harbors in there. He wanted lots of stuff in it, so I'm going to try my best to get a whole bunch of stuff to it, so... Let's see, did it uh, do another? Oh, yeah, there's another one there. Okay. That's good. I'd like to get something up at this end of the map. Map options. Oh, yeah, that's different too. Okay. So, that's good. And everything should be uh, kind of automatic. All the boats are in the right level and stuff, so that's good. Okay, so let's do some more harbors. He wanted to see about getting some uh, um, uh, APCs going at some of these places. So. so let's see, we got two, there's three. So there's three harbors. Oh, come on, I want to get one up the other side, too. Uh, let's do it two more times here. Procedural tools. Native. Oh, and I lost it. Procedural tools. Native. Generate harbor. Tools. Procedural tools. Native. Generate harbors. Okay, we'll refresh that map. We got um, lots of harbors down here, apparently. This is going to be Harbor Harbor Alley, I guess. Well, let's try one, one more harbor, and then we'll get into the, the other ones. Native, generate harbors. Heck with it, let's do another one. He wanted lots. <laughs> he wanted lots of everything in it, so might make his computer run pretty good. He runs this one on his own server. So, oh, see, there's this one that just spawned in there. So it does all those guys, too. So lots of harbors. Well, that makes sense, you know, because usually there's lots of harbors around the water areas. So we've got nothing up top here. I don't know why. It looks like we got two harbors side by side there now. It's kind of kind of cool. And I could totally move one of these. Um, but that is... Um, wait, my face in now. Where, yeah, so we got to go. So it's, it's spawned all these little ones too, right? They don't really show up on the map. But there should be two harbors up here. As there is. Well, that's kind of cool, actually. I, that's That's interesting. Okay. So let's um, uh, let's start generating. Oh, geez, procedural tools, native, uh, large monuments. So once you do this, so you really can't go back. So let's see what it, what it uh, spawned for us on here. Now, once this is done. And I want to do small monuments right up. So, yeah, there's the airfield. It's probably just done the airfield. It might have done some other ones too here, though. Whoa. So, there's something over here. Oh, yeah, did that and that. That's a um, train yard, water treatment plant. It looks like another. Well, that's the airfield. What is that one? And there's something up here. Okay, well, let's do a fly around. Oh, the power plant. So the power plant's there. Airfield, that's actually a really cool spot for that. It's up nice and high, and that's pretty cool. And the giant excavator's over there, and it looks like... 
that's the train yard and another water treatment uh, water treatment plant so okay oh and something over here too what's this one oh the um now i was curious about this and i guess it's all here that's the military base so that's good okay so tools procedural tools oh tools procedural tools native i want to do small monuments a few three or ten of these <laughs> really loaded in here okay so there's the dome brought in a dome let's do uh that again i wish there was a quicker way to do this i think this is probably just yeah there's another dome this is probably just going to bring in domes. He uh, he wanted a lot of stuff in here, so I'm going to load her up. And then uh, if I can get her loaded into my server after just to give her a test, we'll give her a test. Uh, let's do maybe one more. See if we spawn another dome somewhere. And I don't know if it did or not. Uh, I don't see another one. Okay, we better we better do the other monuments before we get too crazy here, because it's starting to fill up now. Native, um, medium monuments. Small monuments is like the little water thing, whatever they call that. Um, and like the these things oh that's a, that's one of them um that's another one and i think the small ones oh yeah there's the uh outpost yeah these things spawns those too right the little quarries and stuff okay that's good so let's get a little bit of everything going in here native um tiny monuments they seem to do everything in concession that you should kind of do it, I think. So tiny monuments are like things like... Let's see if I can find something here. Hmm. Like, no, that's... Yeah. That would be a tiny monument, that whatever, whatever that thing is, the little water thing. If I could get her, no, it's going too fast. That little thing, that's like a tiny monument. Okay, so we got two domes. They're kind of close. Oh no, we got three domes. Look, we got three now. One, two, and three. Okay, I didn't see that other one come in. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, so that's good. Now, if I didn't like where that dome was, I could move one. You can pick it up and move it. Now, the only thing is, is the roads that it's left underneath of it there will stay there. They don't come with the dome, so. Um, I could do that. Um, one thing I noticed I had problems with, though, it didn't seem to spawn on the map I made. It didn't seem to spawn the oil rigs. I don't know how to do that yet. So, large monuments, I think. So, we better do some ice lakes. You'll see ice lakes all of a sudden, hopefully here. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Um, tools, procedural tools, native. Now, roads, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I want to do another small monument. Let's see if we get another dome. So, we've got four domes now. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps plunking them all over here. I'd like to get something over this side. Lots of stuff, though. <laughs> he said he wanted lots in her. I'm like, okay. I'll give you lots in her. Tools, procedural tools, native. Uh, I guess we'll uh, let's do another medium monument. I'll do another medium and large, see if we get anything else to come in. Don't know if anything else come in there, but tools, procedural tools, native. And I lost her again. Procedural tools, native. Some large monuments. Maybe we'll get some other stuff in here. 
Let's have a look at the map. It's sometimes easier to look on there. So there's the ice lakes, three of them. Uh, lots of harbors. Oh, there's two of them in there now. Yeah, there seems to be lots of stuff happening. Okay, so we got a bit more to do here, and then I'll get her loaded up in our server, and uh, hopefully it'll run it. Native uh, roads. So this will do. This will do roads, like hopefully to the monuments. It might not with these big hills. I don't know yet. Building road meshes. So, did we get other roads? Yeah, looks like it did roads to that one anyways. Did that little road there. These uh, domes might be just a little bit too remote for them. But those are pretty close, those two. I might end up moving. I might end up moving uh, one right there, too. They all seem to be over on this side. I like to put one. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal this one. Holy jumping, there's already one over there. Wait a minute. We've got one, two, three. Hey, let's put this guy way over here. So now I just got to get the right... Oh, maybe put him right in the water here. That'd be kind of cool. Got to get the right height for him now so it looks right. And that is obtained by clicking on this arrow. Okay, so what you want is... What side was it here? The other side. For people to be able to get up so that you can see the water level there. We better put it up a little higher, I think. How's that looking? Is those, are those things out of the water? Maybe I'll try to get those things just... Just... Where's the bottom of the lake? Oh, there it was. Way deep. Um, okay, well, this is maybe too deep here for this. Yeah, we'll leave her there. That way you can swim up to that thing and then climb up to the top. Okay, that's probably enough domes. Uh, so, tools. Oops, tools. Procedural tools. Native, and we got to generate rivers now. I don't think I already did rivers. Maybe I did. Yeah, there's a river there now, so that's where you get your pumpkins and stuff from, right? So there's one there. Hoping there's some over here. Uh, I don't see many more rivers. That's maybe not good. I'll have to try to do a couple more, maybe. Oh, this road looks like it's going to nowhere. Oh, no, that's a river. Never mind. Another river. Okay, so that's good. There's a mini dome. <laughs> River. Let's just try doing more rivers here. Gives people lots of food potentials. Native. Generate rivers. Okay, so the rocks are last. I don't know if you have noticed, but like all on the edges here, there's like no rocks. Like there's no, well, these rocks, but there's no like chunky rocks. Where's a good cliff edge? Actually, that one was probably pretty good there. Oh, over here would be good. So why don't we generate rocks here? You'll be able to see how they all, uh, all of a sudden the map will be like, whoa, good to go. So, road monuments. Yeah, we got to do them too. Got to check on those. Those are like the um, uh, gas station and the... Um, um, Supermarket. There's a supermarket there. Gas station, sorry. So that gets all spawned in the uh, that thing. I'm going to do it again maybe to get some more here. Procedural, ooh, procedural tools. 
do some maybe twice more. That gives them a lot more monuments and stuff along the road. Those little things to do along the road, right? So yeah, let's spawn another gas station right across the road. Tools, procedural tools, native. Road monuments. That should be lots. We'll just double check her all here. There's another one, another one there. And there's one right down here that's splatted right down the road. That's good. Another one down here. Another one down here. That's actually the, um, the whatchamacallit there. There's my landing strip, we'll say. <laughs> that little test thing. Um, okay, so we're getting into now um, caves. Let's generate some caves. And I don't know if I'll be able to find caves on here or not. Um, let's see. I know I did the one map there, and it didn't... Um, didn't... Don't... Yeah, there's caves. Okay, that's good. Kind of looks like someone's intestine. Yeah, there's the caves, and it looks like it just goes down a little bit. There should be more caves somewhere. Yeah, there's another one there. Um, we'll do another set of caves, maybe. Native. Customs in there would be like custom monument stuff. I don't have any custom monuments, so like this ship that's on here, that would be like a custom thing. Okay, that should be good for caves. Just trying to figure out the caves here, maybe. There we go. Let's just have a quick look underground here. Uh, not really seeing any over here, but I know there was some on the other side. Oh, there's one. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's find our uh, cliff edge here, because they look kind of funny. Like, I could do it and submit it to them like this without without rocks, but the rocks really make it. Procedural tools, native. Um... I think we got everything else. So here goes the rocks. So you got to do rocks last because if you do them um, first when you put your monuments on, all of a sudden the rocks are up in the air. So that's why you do all, all your rocks last. So there's your rocks on the side there. And that is about it. I don't know now if like the, the cargo ship's going to run. Um, I don't know if I've got to do that Two. It doesn't really show me that in here. But custom is um, yeah. Generate. Well, I'm gonna do that and mess something up. So uh, map tools that just uh, replaces and stuff. Prefab tools. Uh, procedural tools. That's where we were. Profiles. Edit. Loot profiles. Hmm. They all. Some of this stuff you wouldn't need to do because um, you would change it with your plugins, right? So, but I'm gonna call that one pretty good. It should automatically do all the spawn points along the beaches for new players. Uh, I don't know where we're gonna spawn, but let's just make sure we save this. Save as. Uh, KK, whoop, not FF, whoop, KK, map, Jan. Okay, so we'll save that to our desktop. So what I got to go do now is upload this map after it's saved here. So it's saved, blah, 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 all good. And uh, I got to upload that to uh, Dropbox and do the link stuff and all that crap. Um, let's have a look at the map here, see if we like everything. Holy cow, that's going to be a pretty good map. <laughs> look at all the road monuments, holy jumping. 
Okay, well, if it all works here, we'll uh, we'll see you when we load up. Okay, she's loading. She's loading. It's so exciting. Make your own map. And uh, you could make it tiny, too, if you want. I could have made, like, uh, one little wee island. Now, you wouldn't have anything on it, but that would probably suck. You'd, I think about the minimum you'd really want is, like, a 1,500. Although, they go right down to, like, 100 if you want, which is, like, a little enough for, like, a little house. Um, maybe after, if I remember, we'll try and show you that, too. and just show you the little guy, but... She's loading. Let's see where we get dumped on here. Got to download the world. There she goes. So that's a direct link right to my Dropbox now that's pulled that map off. So it pulls that down off of there through the server, uh, game, game Server Kings, because it's got the link to it there. And uh, that'll be in this directory of my game now, too. So clean it up. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Tricked you. Um, so... We should still have server admin on here. I should be able to fly around and stuff. Um, well, there we go. Where do we spawn? There's the the spile over there, so that's good. Oh, there we go. We're in the map. Look at that. Holy freaking crap. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff on here. Oh, man. Uh, first of all, uh, let's try... Make sure that's working. Yeah, that's working. Okay, so let's do... Uh, uh, oh, uh, weather dot load uh, clear. There, so we can see better. Well, let's go look at the spile here first. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, it put a rock on it. I didn't realize that. I could go back in and edit that and pull that off of there. But, hey, there's a, a tree. I made a tree. And, oh, look at the... Okay. That's cool. So it gener... I, I didn't mention that. It randomly generates trees. I forgot to tell you that. But it's made this little... That's kind of cool. So I didn't see that. Oh, there's even a horse out here. That is kind of cool. Now, the one thing I have concerns about is I don't think it does... It doesn't seem to do... I don't know why. Maybe I've got to make somehow like the map size bigger, but the land smaller. I think that's what the problem is. There's no, uh, you know, whatchamacallums here. So holy cow, this is... Uh, holy cow. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm, really, I'm really happy with myself because that worked out good. So that's actually about where the land ended there. And then we just kind of blended her all in real nice there. And it worked pretty good, didn't it? A plateau, or whatever you want to call that. A peninsula. There's a little island there. I mean, I could have made... I could have made... Uh, walkways out to there, I guess, too, or whatever. But, uh, oh, that's cool. Now, this would be all our harbors coming up here. And this weird thing. Now, there won't be anything good in these crates. Oh, well, it's, that's not too bad, actually, for a vanilla server. Um, what's in, I wonder, the barrels here. Let's find a barrel. Let's get a shooting device here first. So, items. An ammo. And we need some just regular... Pistol ammo. I just want to check, make sure the barrels are working. If I can find one here somewhere. So that's actually there's the start of the second harbor here. That has actually joined itself up really well. You wouldn't even know like this was the well. There's a little glitchy there, but. Other than that, you wouldn't really know that that's where the second harbor starts, so that's pretty cool. Now, it didn't do any rocks on here, but that's, I think, because it's a sandy hill. But let's go find a barrel or two and see uh, see what it's doing. So there's some crates up here. That's good. Let's see what's in them. Oh, well, that's actually not too bad of stuff for, for vanilla stuff. Holy cow, what is going on here? 
I seriously just loaded this thing in. We're getting guns and chainsaws. Normally you wouldn't get good stuff like that. All right. What about barrels? What's in the barrels? Let's find a barrel. There's one here. Yeah, it's just two items. Scrapping. Wooden floor spikes. Uh, what about... Um, let's check this crate here. Yeah. That's actually kind of a neat spot for that. I, I like that uh, in there. This thing, so... But it seems to be working. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's barrels and crates and stuff spawning on the sides here. That's good. Uh, what's it give us for fuel? One fuel. It's probably three or four fuel. Nine. Well, that's not too bad. You don't want to really be giving stuff away, right? So, oh, there's a cave. So that's cool. Oh, I got no lights down here anyway. So that's a cave. Um, oh, they don't like me. I gotta get out of here. I'll end up dying. <laughs> I don't have God mode on, so. Um, okay, let's go up higher here and see. Yeah, so we got uh, the one dome in the water. Let's go check that. Pretty cool, eh? That editor works pretty good. And yeah, you could move stuff around if you didn't like it. Like, we move this dome here, right? So, there's a river here, so that's good. Another cave system. It looks like, oh, no, it's just a rock thing. Uh, is there pumpkins growing here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Pumpkins. Okay. So let's give this a shot ourselves here, going up the dome here in the water. Ow! That probably didn't go over too well. So yeah, it's, that's actually kind of neat that it's sunk down in like that. The only thing is, uh, and why am I not swimming too good? The only thing is, so, uh, yeah, that looks authentically done in there. The only thing is the uh, shack, so here, our will be underwater pretty good. They must have really slowed down the swimming speed. Oh my goodness, that's like painfully slow. Yeah, the shack is underwater. So that's not so good, maybe. Oh, but you can still open it. That's pretty cool. See, now you can just go right here, swim up to there, and walk up. Perfect. Oh, we got pants to cover up my, my willy. Well, that's actually some pretty good stuff in some of these. It's pretty good for being vanilla. Like, there's nothing done with really anything on here. We did a couple of few mods while we were testing the other map out, like the... Uh, remove tool and stuff like that, right? But uh, in the backpack, you don't get that normally, so. But this is pretty good. Um, wow. Decent-ish stuff in there. Let's uh, get up to the top here, though. I'll get this fly up, of course, and then... Uh, we'll uh, have a look. Just make sure we can traverse this thing all right. Almost like I've done this a few times, eh? But I'd like to get into the custom monuments and prefabs. Um, I got You gotta download those. Uh, I, I haven't really got a good website found yet uh, that I can do that in. Um, but isn't there usually crates here? Maybe they haven't spawned yet. Um, but you know, adding custom like shipwrecks or something or whatever that you could explore into. Because, you know, about the three-week mark before the wipe kind of thing, everybody gets bored. So you need lots of stuff for people to do. Some puzzles and stuff would be cool. I'm not, uh, I haven't done anything, of course, like that. I've just done the basic stuff. But uh, I think we got the basic stuff down pat now, so that's good. So 
what's in these ones. Oh, we got a coat. And we got some boots. Stuff we really don't need. Stinky feet in the boots. Ooh, and a gun. Get rid of the snowballs. See, so yeah, we got backpacks working. That's good. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Let's uh, do some more exploring around, and I don't think I really added too much else in. Um, But the cruise ship, hmm, I don't know how that works. The cargo ship, uh, oh, I can't remember the command for now, SP. More than one view model active at the same time. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can spawn an APC here. I think that's just APC. Yeah, so where's this mean old guy? Shoot me! Woo! He is too. <laughs> There's, uh, see if this is scientists on here. Yeah, they're all on here, so that's good. Woo wee! That's working. This, honestly, I think is a pretty sweet map. It does have lots of stuff on it, and it's a good size. 4,000's big. You could do, I think, a 6,000 as well. You could just, wow, 15 domes, let's go, whatever, you know. Um, this is the military base here. No, yes, yes. Let's just make sure they're all working. I think I'm taking damage. I must have God mode on, so that's good. Let's go in here and check this. Yeah, this is all good. Let's see, I need more things like this. That'd be kind of cool. Stop shooting me, will ya? And uh, one in the ice here. Dome in the ice. I think the dome is one of my favorite monuments. I really like it. Let's check these crates. Much faster doing that to get up there, isn't it? Yeah, battery. Woo. Pretty good stuff, really. Another battery. There's the, uh, oh, yeah, see, this is all part of this thing, too. It all incorporates that into, so this would have been flattish along here, I think. But this whole hill with this old water tower, it all incorporates that into that, so. Check, gee, these things are all good. Yeah. Um, oh, that'll be a 15 minutes to open that crate. I don't want to wait that long. I was going to open up one of the hackable crates, but that's okay. Well, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that map. I think uh, hopefully the fellers will enjoy playing on this one. It's a pretty good size map, but um, let's go back to the editor here, and I uh, just want to check these crates. Let's go back to the editor here, and... Um, show you the different sizes you can do. I think we already looked at these ones, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff in there. Wow, heartbeat sensors. Hmm. Uh, what is the spawn? Oh. S-P-A-W-N. Crate. C R A T E. No, that's not right. Okay, um, what I want to see though before we go out of here, I just want to see. It's going to take us a minute. Oh, where are the smoke grenades? They got to be. Uh, Traps, ammunition, 
tools, probably, yeah. I just want to, uh, throw a couple of these down and get the, uh, planes to come in and drop some crates here. Just so I can see what kind of loot's in these. It's going to be totally different when it's on his server, though, because he'll have his stuff set up the way he wants it to be set up, right? So, so that's good. That'll take a minute. We got lots of gas stations. There's one here, one here. One up the road here. <laughs> it's all kinds of gasoline alley. There we go. Supermarket, supermarkets. <laughs> My goodness. That's good, though, because that'll keep everybody busy, right? Yeah, so these planes are just normal speed. Uh, how about we call in uh, just for fun? Um, what did that say now? And did he not found? Something's going on with that. Might be just the way I've got it set up on this server here, but... Oh, no, I hear him. He's coming. He's coming right at me. Okay. Let's get us... We'll shoot down a chopper and see what's, what he's got on him. Ammunition. High velocities. Oh yeah, there's two choppers. They're here. Well, we got some fun to do. Here comes the planes. be easier if I was on the ground doing this thing because I could crouch. Here comes the planes. Here comes the planes. I gotta try to get this guy in the tail here. And I suck. That's not very nice. I'm missing my hollow sight. Oh crap, he's on fire! I don't have any of the smoke rockets in this, that's definitely another mod. Alright, he's going down. Next on my list. Uh, those will be a few minutes coming down. Ah, reload. Get our way up here, maybe we'll get closer to this guy. I just want to check and see what their crates are. They're probably all the generic crates, I would imagine. Tails on fire there, bud!
Oh, he's crashing. Alright, that's good. How far? Oh, miles away yet. You have to adjust something. I think it is in the files on the server, or there's a plugin. I can't remember what it is now to get those to like down real fast. Still on fire, hurting me. Just generic -y stuff there. I don't know what's in the toolboxes. I never did find one of those. But uh, after we just check these loots and then those crates, I'll we'll zip back into the uh, editor there and I'll show you just the small little maps. Wow, there's actually... Did I call it Nether Chopper? Not by me, just the other one. Hmm. Maybe I did call three in. Oops. Oh, I did call. I called two to me and then one just regular one. Something going on with my mini. I put that in too the, the other night. Come on, fire. Come on, fire. Come on, fire. Geez, these ones will be down before, <laughs> before the fire's out. That's the new crates anyways. They changed the crates. I don't know why. I kind of don't really care for them. I, I think they were fine before, but... That's the new uh, texture, whatever you want to call it, for the, for the crates now. They're smaller. Come on, fire! How much does that give us? 50. Ooh, that's not bad. We had an ish issue today there. I put on another little plug-in for the guys while they were playing the other little map I made. And it was um, uh, instant smelt. And you hit that and you get charcoal right away. I'm like, oh, well, that's probably not much good. Get that out in case the other guy thinks he wants to come over and be smart. I really only need to just check the one here if the fire would just go out. But I think all our crates are down, so let's... Zip over here and have a look at the crates. Let's see what we get in these. Holy shnikes. Really pretty good stuff. Guns? Wow. Jackhammer. Holy cow, some of these are pretty good. A kaboomer thing. Another kaboomer thing. Ooh, that's a good gun there. Pretty darn good crates. I wonder what's in the other ones. Probably 249s in the other heli crates up here. Let's go see. This one should be out by now. Yes. Okay, what do we got? Oh, there's the ammo. Oh, it's still on fire, apparently. Uh, some sights. That's just, like, generic stuff, I think. There's your sights. Weapon lights. There should be one more here, yeah. And, wow. So there we go. Well, that's not too bad. We made a map. I can't believe it. That's awesome. It works so good. And uh, anyways, let's go back to the editor here now, and we'll just have a look at um, making the, like, the small, tiny maps. I'll show you how much smaller they're. We'll meet you over at the editor. All right. So this is weird. They don't... For some reason, you can't select... Well, I guess I could maybe select it that way, but... Um, yeah, I'll have to, well, anyways, uh, that's loading the map, but uh, let's try something here. So let's do a 500 map size, and we'll do a, oh, it's 1,000 a minimum? Oh, wait a minute. 
Oh, okay, I guess that's the minimum. I didn't realize that. Height map resolution. Yeah, we won't change that. Ground height, though. Let's make that 500 and see what that does. So, we won't see the map to start with. It's still all water. I thought I could have done a smaller map. I'm sure I could have. All right, procedural tools, native, and then let's do a generate terrain. So, okay, well, that's your island. Now, that's interesting because the map height went higher. Now, I don't think we can generate... Oh. I don't think we can generate terrain again. But let's give her a shot here. Yeah, that's what, more what I was thinking. It's like mountain thing. <laughs> I don't know why the first one messed up. That seemed kind of odd. But now, very limited to... And this is a thousand size. This... Very limited to what you can do onto this, so let's just generate biome. Pretty small. Generate splat. So that's your splat of land. A little bit of a little bit of ice over here. Not very much though. Tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. I don't know if we can generate another splat again. Mm. Let's generate another splat and see what happens here. No, I think it stays the same. Give it one more shot. Yeah, it doesn't change that. Um, procedurals. Topology. So that just basically changed some of that. Procedural tools. Whoops. And we won't get a ring road here. Kind of doubt we'll get a harbor either. Maybe get a harbor. Oh, yeah, we got a small one. Um, let's try another harbor think it would only do the one for a map this size. And that's just the fishing village size one. Oh yeah, so let's give her one more shot. Oh, that thing just does not like me. Generate harbors. Yeah, I don't think it's going to generate any more than that. That's a pretty small map. We might try to load this up, though, just for fun. Uh, ring road we won't get. Harbors. Let's try small mines. We might give us a dome. Well, he didn't even give us that. Too small for stuff, I guess. Procedural native. Um, let's try small monuments again. Yeah, you might not get that. Oh. Their, their screen thing. Oh my gosh. Let's do medium monuments. Does it give us anything there? Oh, it's loading something maybe. Oh, oh, oh. No, tricked ya. Didn't load anything. A little bit too small, I guess. Let's keep going here. See what else we can get. Let's try a large monument. Can load anything there? Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> just a bit too small, I guess. Anyways, uh, we'll just... Uh, native tiny monuments. Oh, there we go. What did we get? Oh, that water thing again. Still too native. Let's get small monuments a shot again. No. I think the dome needs like quite a bit of land, so it would probably take up most of that anyways. So that's not gonna work. Let's try 
Roads. No, no roads. Roads, ice lakes, roads, rivers. We might get a river, maybe. Nope, no river either. <laughs> You're going to go hungry then. A map this size. But uh, let's uh, finish this up here, maybe, and we'll try to load it. There's road monuments. Probably won't get any of that because we have no roads. Procedural tools, native. Might get a cave. Can we get a cave? I don't th think so. No, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> it's just too small. Procedural. Oh. Now, I think there's some way I could get the dome and load it and get it in here if I really wanted it, but... I haven't quite figured that out yet. It should give us the rocks. Oh yeah, and the things out there. Okay. There's the... There he is, tiny. I'm curious to see, though, with this smaller map, if we'll get... Um, the oil rigs to spawn. Something tells me I'm missing something. That's profiles, not there. Map tools, procedural tools. Well, let's try tiny monuments again. I don't think we're going to get anything else. Okay, well, we'll save this as tiny to the desktop. Save, and we'll see you on the other side. All right, we're loading up the mini map. Shouldn't take too long, I wouldn't think, but uh, yeah. But I think the minimum size of map to get a few of the uh, monuments and stuff on to make it a decent map is probably 2,000 absolute minimum. Absolute minimum. This was a thousand. This one, so she's uh, pretty tiny. So there we go. Oh, geez, drowning. Oh, geez. How do we end up under the map? <laughs> okay. Let's see here. I don't know why I ended up under the map. Let's try something here. Oh. Let's respawn here and see what happens. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, it's so it's got spawn points for some reason way over here. I don't know why. But anyways. Now, curious. Oh boy, this is tiny. No, it cuts the map down, I guess, too. Look at how big the squares are. Holy. So, I don't know. Maybe the I'd have to adjust spawn points or something there. Something was weird there, but... There's our mini map. Very, very mini, and it's only got a little water thing on it here, and that's it. She's tiny. Let's see how long it takes us to walk across. Oh, no, wrong command. My bad. Yeah, I must have to adjust spawn points for that far out. Because these things are out quite a piece too, aren't they? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, we got one horse anyways. Bunch of barrels. Bear, some animals. You could survive here if you had to.
Yeah, not gonna take long to get across the map. Oh, wolf. You're gonna come right up here, aren't you? Oh, crap. He's on my butt. Ouch. Haha, <laughs> you suck. He's probably still right behind me, though. Ouchie, I got no food. Small island, lots of animals. And <laughs> lots of fighting, probably. Oh, there's some... Some shrooms. And some potatoes, but they're not cooked. Blech. Don't be anything in that barrel, really, so... But yeah, there we go. So that's cool, making little maps and stuff, and, uh... I don't know that I'll start hosting my own again, then I'll probably make maps for, for other people, and they can host them. Holy cow, there's animals all over the place on this little map. Really, pig? Really? Really, pig? Why are you be so mean to me? Right on my butt. Ha. Ah. Now I'm almost dead. Lots of stones and little nodes and stuff. I think they super concentrate that on here. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Pretty cool. Little mini map. <laughs> Full of excitement, it looks like an adventure. But anyways, that's it for today. Just thought I'd show you that and share that with you, what I've learned on the Rust Editor and stuff, making maps and stuff. It's pretty cool. The Dropbox thing is kind of sort of a pain in the rear end, but it's not too bad. Just upload it to your Dropbox, create a link, and then you just paste it and... Uh, into your server thing, well, server kings anyways, and uh, then load her up. But anyways, thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.